What's going on, sweet gang? Welcome to your sweet connection. It's your girl, Rochelle. And today, I am going to bring to you the tutorial of the Unicorn 3D Apple. Before we get started, I want to let you guys know, after the video is when you will be able to put in your entry. You have until next Saturday to put in your entry. Entries will end at the end of the day, 12 midnight Eastern Standard Time. And I will put all the information once again in the description below. But I just want to welcome you. If you're new to my channel, get ready to get life. And don't forget to subscribe. And at the end of this video, you enjoyed this tutorial, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. But we're going to get started and we're going to go over the supplies that I have before you today. So let's get started. Okay, so what I have before you is the supplies that we're going to be using. And in the left corner that you see here, I have one finished unicorn. And the other one is a little different. And that's what I'm going to be doing with you guys today. I'm going to make it easy for those newcomers, the beginners, and just make the apple a little different in this video and for this contest. Okay? So, the supplies we have here, I have this little foam pad that we're going to be using. I have the molded ears for the unicorn. I have the unicorn, the little, the sprout, not the sprout, but the horn. I do apologize. But this is a mold of the unic unicorn's horn. I have two cutters here. These are actually leaf cutters. And I'm going to show you in the video how we're going to use those um, for the hair. I have my three Wilton brushes. This is a Kabuki brush. This is a smaller brush. And this is a uh, more thinner brush that we're going to be using. I have a toothpick, a star. I have some sculpting tools. This is a ball tool. And this is a shoulder that we're going to be using in this video as well. And I explain to you later in the video. I have my paper straw, my rolling pin some um, blossom dust pink some gold super gold blossom dust a little bit of water and my four different colors of fondant also we do have white which is not here right now some powdered sugar and a bucket of white chocolate okay so if you guys are ready let's get into this unicorn apple. All right, sweet gang. During the duration of this video, I am going to do it in parts, and this will be part one. Part one, we're going to go over the molding that is going to go on the apple before we dip in chocolate. First, we're going to take our gold straw or your straw of your choice, place it over your already clean candy apple, already clean apple. Firmly pressing, not too hard, so it don't go through the bottom. We're going to use white fondant to do the molding of the spout. Okay? This is going to be the nose part. Okay? His sprout. The sprout. Okay? Taking a piece of your fondant, rolling it out. And what you want to do is just form a thick, flat, oval shape. Okay? You want to make sure the top of this is flat. Okay? To make sure that it is going to fit well enough around the top of your apple okay so here's where you start forming 
your sprout. So just bringing it together as so and pressing at the bottom as so. Okay? So now you want to just bring it here to where it's going to stick out more. Okay? This part is going to be flat. So we're going to worry about this part being flat. Bringing this section up. And just forming a nose. Okay? And you want it to be flat and neat as possible because any lumps that's left is going to show through your chocolate. Okay? And just smooth out the sides. Okay? If it feel like it's a bubble, get that bubble out of there. But just start forming... your nose okay now how can you tell if it's in position and it's good enough for you turn it sideways and if it looks like it's in a good position where it's not too low and you want to bring it up just come here and bring it up just firmly pressing okay firmly pressing but you want to have a good shape Okay. And I'm just reforming because it looks a little off here. And make sure everything is flat. If you need to take off extra, find it, that's fine. Break it off here and pull it off, and it'll come right off. Okay. And there you have the top, which is flat. Make sure that surface is flat, okay? Okay, part two. In this section, we're gonna go over the ears, okay? We're gonna take some pieces off our fondant, making sure that it's smooth. And we're going to add to the cavity of these two molds, okay? This is actually one mold, okay? One is the base, and this one creates the groove, okay? So you want to make sure that you apply your find it inside the cavity, as so. Spread it out a little bit, making sure that it's not running over. Okay, taking the other part and putting it in the grooves of the mold and press firmly down in the center. Okay, if any find it comes out, just take off the extra, put it over with your other find it, and there it creates the groove of the ear. Okay, if you have a problem with your find it sticking to the mold, take your kabuki brush, add a little powder, as so. You don't want it to be too much, but and just dab it on the inside, taking your find it and applying it in the groove. To create your ear okay remember these ears are not going to stick out on the outside of your chocolate this is the sculpting part that you're creating to create that 3d effect okay so applying the mold once again pressing in the center and if it's extra at the bottom take it off okay now these ears, these ears are fairly big to be placed on these apples. 
okay so what we actually gonna do is cut them down I use these because they form a nice curve um, and I like to use those because I can just cut them off cut the extra off to size them up with my apple okay so what you want to do which we already sized them up I'm gonna cut off a portion of the bottom okay and so cutting off a portion of the bottom so that my ears don't look too big so once again I'm gonna size it up okay and if it looks like it's still too too big I'm just gonna cut off some more okay want my ears to look as natural as possible on the apple even though they're being dipped in chocolate I want them to look good okay so sizing it up and I think we are good to go so what I'm going to do is like press firmly here and I'm turning my ears outward as you see here and then I'm going to place the other one here. Okay. And just press down on just press down on your apple. And it's going to stick. And if it don't, apply some water to the bottom of it. Okay? All right. So what I'm going to do is take my ball, balling tool and take the bigger portion of it and just holding the apple in your palm of your hand and making sure you don't bump any pieces off in the center of your ear. Just roll it and it's like you're adding a indebtment of just putting like a a print a deep print in the ear to get a 3d effect to look like your ears pushed in okay can y'all see that that's the effect you want to create when doing using the balling tool okay and doing this side and I'm just circle in a circular motion going up and down and you're just basically forming your ear to how you want it to look when you get ready to dip okay so you want to make sure that this top section is smooth you want to make sure the top section is smooth because remember you're dipping it in chocolate and you want it all to look smooth out okay and it's okay to take your thumb press in just to cuff them ears a little bit okay and if you want to run your rolling pin over, you can do so to make sure everything is smoothed out. Okay. And I think we're pretty much ready to go with the ears. Here in part okay. three, we're going to create the horn. Here I have the horn mold, the foam. And I got some aluminum foil along with my toothpick. And using your fondant, you want to stretch out your fondant to where the horn mold that you're creating is going to come out perfect. So you don't want to add, over add the fondant, okay? 
and if you want to use your rolling pin you can do so and just roll it out but you want to make sure any extra off the sides are not on or on the outside of the mold okay any extra at the bottom and you can just pull it off put it to the side taking the other portion of this mold applying it to the grooves like you did the ears and pressing as firm as you can down the center okay this is just to create both sides of the groove bringing that piece off okay and there's other ways to create your horn you don't have to use a mold but I find this easy and there you have your horn now this horn is actually too big to go on the apple so once again we're gonna size it up and cut off just enough that is going to be used for the apple okay so we're gonna take a knife and we're gonna cut enough off to make sure it's not going to be too small or too big okay so I think that we can work with that horn okay it looks a little bit big so I'm going to cut off a little piece just a little bit size it up remember size up everything before you dip in chocolate okay because you can't go back all right I think we're good with that so now we're going to take the aluminum foil place it over the foam pad okay protecting the foam pad at this point we're going to stick the toothpick in the bottom okay sticking the toothpick in the bottom to where we're going to now color our horn with our gold dust okay we're going to use our gold blossom dust and just applying dry dust didn't add no water to it to the horn as so Once again, this is blossom dust that I'm using. I didn't add any water, just the moisture from the fondant is good enough. Um, if you like to use edible paint, that's good and totally up to you. And you want to let this sit to harden. And this color I'm using is Egyptian gold. And there's some different golds out there. Okay. So there we have our horn. All right, sweet gang. Here in part four, we are going to get ready and melt the chocolate. I have in a large bowl, because of the type of apple I'm using, uh, creating, 
I like to dip in a larger bowl where I can dip my apple all the way into the chocolate to get a complete coverage. Okay, that's just my preference. It works well for me. And we're going to melt the chocolate in 30 second intervals. And when we come back, we'll have melted chocolate. Now we're back with our melted chocolate. Okay. Being that this is in a bigger container, this chocolate had to be melted three times um, for 30 seconds. And every time I took it out, I made sure that I mixed all the melts very well to the well combined until I got an even flow nothing added and a good flowing of chocolate okay so all what we've been waiting for is to dip this sculpted apple into our chocolate okay so tilting just like you do a candy apple okay turning it to the back side so that you don't make a uh, bump and move anything that is out of place. You don't want anything out of place, but going in as so and turning and dipping. And coming back out okay I got some and if you want to dip again you can do so by just placing your apple in the chocolate Okay, and just letting it drip off. Drip as much as you want off. Okay. And once I'm going to scrape the bottom. And you want to make sure you let it dry. Okay. Now you see what I mean when you have your sculpted, how it forms, the ears and everything is covered. So you can either let it air dry or you can put it in the freezer so that it can dry a little faster in this section okay. while we're waiting on the chocolate to um, form and completely dry we're gonna go ahead and create the hair of the unicorn and what I'm going to be using is these are leaf cutters and instead of me using the rigid side I'm going to re be using the smooth side okay so we're going to go ahead and roll out the pink, okay? So what I'm going to do is um, put a little powdered sugar on my mat here. And I'm going to be doing a couple pink cutouts. Okay, so just rolling it back and forth, turning it. You want to roll it out as much as you can. Um, you don't want it too thick or too thin. Uh, it's totally up to you, your preference, um, but you want it just right. Okay, so as you roll it out, my little technique that I like to do is just take the sculpting tool 
and just make lines firmly pressing lines into the fondant all right going straight down okay then you're going to take the smooth edge side and this is going to make sections of the hair so I'm just going to do two and lifting it up with the other end of the tool which is a little flat and moving it over to the side and we're going to go ahead and do purple. pieces so the leaf cutter I'm not going to use so what I'm going to do is just sketch out um, the hair this is eyeballing just like I want to do like a little swirl design to just create for the back of the hair so this section is going to need a little bit more find it Okay, that's why I said I was going to make it easier for you guys and go ahead and get your unicorn looking fabulous. Okay, so you want to roll out as much find it as you can, okay, to create the long part of the hair for the back okay just dab a little powdered sugar over your find it taking the sculpting tool and just in a slant and then come around and like a, t a, a tip here and then coming out coming around and coming down to where it's going to end up being pointed at the end okay if you even want to go by this and you see the curve here it's like a curve and then curve and then come pointed at the end okay and I'm just making mine a little different okay so what I'm going to do is take the sculpting, the pointed sculpting in and just make lines 
just going into the curve, okay? Take a little bit of that off. Okay, and your hair is going to look like that, like it's strands of hair, okay? And if you want to make two, that's totally up to you, okay? And I'm going to make one more, and this is what you would do for the rest of your colors, Okay, I'm just going to roll out one more of the pink and make sure you do it with the rest of your colors. And applying powder sugar over it, just simply keep it from sticking to whatever it is that you're using. And once again, I'm going to start with the point. And even if you want to use this as your guide, come here, stop. And then come out, then come in, and I'm just going to take that a little longer. Okay, bringing up the extra, and taking your pointed in once again, and just making lines come down. You can even curve them if you like. And that is your hair. Now you do this for the rest of the colors. And when we come back in the next section, we're going to apply everything to the apple. But before we do that, we got to make the eyes. So let's get into the eyes. Bringing the little foam back. Getting your dust. You want them to be the same as the unicorn, as the the horn, and just applying it to the eyelid, the slanted eye. Okay. Now, if it's yellow and it's gold, make sure that it's the same color of your dust. The color comes out a whole lot better. Okay? And the same you want to do for the lashes. Okay? So you guys can see the difference. Okay, so we're just going to go with the eye. Get the star going. A lot of detail for this apple, you guys. It's a lot of detail. So I thank you for bearing with me in this video. Because it's a lot of detail. Okay. Taking the star, pressing down. And it's a plunger. You can just press and pop it out. And it pops out. Okay? So I just want one little star that I'm going to use and place on her face. Okay? And it's going to be gold as well. So I'm going to make sure that everything that I want gold is going to be over in this section. Okay. All right. So while we have that, city, part, we're gonna go ahead and make the ears go. And I'm just going to apply a little bit of water in this dust. Um, you can use 
vodka if you like um, but I'm just using some water um, the vodka does stick better but applying just enough to add to the ear okay all right always remember to test out on some paper towel to see how it's going to come out and i like what's going to come out you don't want to put too much because then it'll get runny on your apple okay so making sure it's not a lot And I do have a lot that just came off. Okay. And just right in the groove of Your ear is where you want to apply and let it dry. Okay. You want to let it dry and then you want to do the other ear be careful that your chocolate it will melt okay so i would hold it like this and then do the other ear okay dab and just apply just right in the center of the ear don't want to put too much okay I'm just shape making sure I'm shaping it enough where it's gonna come out even Okay. There. And I got it just like I want it. Okay. Let that sit for a minute. Remember when you're doing art, okay, let it, let it get time to set, settle. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and apply the horn, okay? Taking your horn with your brush, applying some water, or you can use some edible um, glue, or you can use chocolate, um, but I'm just going to apply it with water, being that it's fonded, okay? And we have our horn on and let's get into adding the hair okay so I want to start off with pink taking a brush and just start forming it a little bit uh oh we got our horn just then came off And I'm just going to stick our horn back on there, securing it down. And let's add purple. Okay. 
Okay, be careful of your horn and yellow. However you want to place your colors, it's totally up to you. Okay, and I'm just bending it a little bit to give it a little... Death. Okay. And just going to the other side. And adding the other color. Okay. Now adding the colors to the back. Placing your find it here. You're going to cut off some of it, okay? And making sure this section turns around. This part you're going to just simply cut off. Okay, using your sculpting tool. Okay. And then turn it around and that's how you're gonna see your hair come around the side all right so then we're gonna go ahead and add your other pieces okay bringing it around and I'm going to take my tool and give myself some lines and that is where you want to just start playing with your ends adding another color and we're going to go ahead and add more and then we're going to finish her up okay so now that we have the hair all provided on your apple i'm just going to add a nice little star to the side of her face I don't want to mess the hair up because you want to make sure that the hair is completely done but hiding her eye we have finished the unicorn okay all right so if you have enjoyed this video be sure to give it a thumbs up and you guys that are entering into this contest please make sure you add your video after this tutorial you have up until Saturday of next week for your entry and it must go through my Instagram at your sweet connection and Make sure you're subscribed to my channel and you're following and have liked my Facebook page, Your Sweet Connection, and you are following me on Instagram, Your Sweet Connection. You must be doing all three to be able to enter into this contest. Once again, I'm going to repeat, you must be subscribed to my channel. You must be following me and rate my Facebook page, Your Sweet Connection. Follow me on Instagram, Your Sweet Connection. And make sure you're subscribed to this channel because I bring you um, what I know, my technique. It may be things that you may not even know or need help with i'm your girl that's going to get you connected and if i can't do it i definitely point you in the direction that 
who can. So, once again, get ready. I'm looking forward to see these beautiful apples. Make sure you take a picture of your apple and you must send it through my DM on Instagram. Any pictures that will be sent to me on Facebook will be disqualified. It, you will be disqualified if I get any entries through my Facebook page. That is not acceptable. All entries must go through my Instagram, Your Sweet Connection, and you must post your picture on your Instagram in order for you to win this competition. I look forward to seeing all the beautiful apples and let the best man, woman win. So, don't forget, subscribe to this channel, give this video a thumbs up, and I will be looking forward to next Saturday. Bye-bye.